we believe, because he injured his hip some years ago, some decades ago, actually, in a jump from a stage in his trademark high-heeled boots. And so he'd been living with this hip injury and uh, taking different things at times. We don't know if that's specifically related to the prescription uh, opiates found in his uh, in his, in his compound, but it certainly points to the possibility of a drug overdose or at least a mixing of things uh, that may have, in fact, led to his untimely death. Right. So, all right. So, the body's been, been been cremated, but we're still waiting for the autopsy results. Which I don't know why, but why does it take weeks? Or when do we know when the autopsy is going to come back? Uh, to- the, the the exam has been done. It's the toxicology test results that we're waiting for, and those usually take a couple of weeks, even if they're expedited. So, uh, it'll be. Uh, at least that long before we know what officially Prince died from. And, and it's, a, it's a, there's a good deal of curiosity, I think, because he was known for clean living right? Uh, and, and was not known to have any kind of a drug problem. But then again, he was also known to, to keep his private life intensely private. Uh, and, and in an age of you know Twitter and Instagram and, and TMZ, he still managed to uh, you know be something of an enigma that way. Right. And uh, what actually killed him? Uh, I think you know people want to know. And it's part of the reason I think that the, you, you heard the sheriff's department um, argue to seal uh, the uh, the search warrant. They didn't want to say what they were searching for. They didn't want anyone to get the wrong idea about what they might have been looking for or who they might have been looking for. If there are any doctors involved in prescribing uh, certain drugs for Prince, if they were prescribed uh, properly, or if this is some kind of you know. Uh, you know, illegal activity. So they they're keeping everything pretty close to the vest. Yeah. All right. Let's talk about this will for a second. Every time somebody hears no no will, will. no will, but, but and then people think, oh my goodness, we're going to have a, a fight on our hands. What? Where are we in terms of his brothers and sisters and half sisters and half brothers? Are they going to fight this at all, or what's the latest? Well, they're, there? they're all going to come to court on Monday morning. Uh, the judge has summoned everybody together. The judge confirmed that Prince died without a will, which any trust in the state's lawyer would tell you is not a good idea. And um, be that as it may, uh, Prince died without a will, so it, it, it's likely his heirs will somehow split the, the estate. But, I, you know, that may not necessarily be the smoothest process. And there's already a, you know, a legal challenge from a guy who's been claiming since the 90s that he is the only rightful <laughs> inheritor of his intellectual, Prince's intellectual property. And I mean, you know, the, the vultures would be out to the extent there are any. Right. Uh, and and uh, so all, all these people are going to be in court on Monday to try and sort some of this out. And, and do we know how much Prince is worth? I have heard anywhere from like 300 to 400 million. But that's not but we're not sure that's actual cash or if there's, you know, music that um, and, and publishing rights. And it's complicated. And I think, you know, the, I have heard a figure of one hundred and you know, 50 million in taxes alone. Oh, yeah. That's a whole other issue. All right. Mm-hmm. Aaron Katursky, uh ABC News correspondent, has time to cover this story because there was no Patriot first round draft pick yesterday <laughs> as part of the violation of uh, Deflategate. I just wanted you to. No, no, it's a good good update. I'm really glad you pointed that out. Thank you very much. (laughs) Aaron.